It's such a huge tax. It's a toll on your body. You get in all the plant foods out there and you'll be fine. Oh, oh, oh. Or you could do it on raw fruits like me and I'm telling you, you'll feel so good. Hey everyone, the River Ganges here. Today I am going to be talking about Nikocado Avocado. He is a mukbang YouTuber who gorges himself constantly. He has gained a massive amount of weight over the years from his content which drew concern from viewers. In addition, he also got into drama with another mukbang YouTuber named Stephanie Su which significantly damaged his reputation. And for Krishna's sake, TRO even made a 4 plus hour documentary on him. Despite all of this, he continues to upload to his multiple YouTube channels with his main one having over 2 million subscribers. This is the rise and fall of Nikocado Avocado. But before I begin, I just want to thank today's sponsor and a product I highly recommend, Dashlane. If you want to make your life online easier and more secure, you should try Dashlane. Dashlane gives you everything you need to easily manage your passwords and keep them secure. It is an amazing service that I use myself. With Dashlane, logging into a website is as easy as clicking login and letting autofill do the rest. You don't have to remember a thing and your information is extremely safe. You can't beat that. Autofill also works with credit cards and addresses to make your online shopping seamless and easy. Dashlane also works on multiple devices, so if you need to log into an account on your phone, tablet, or desktop, you'll always have access to your passwords and account information. And I constantly forget my information all the time. In one particular instance, I lost my Amazon password and couldn't order extra large condoms quick enough. And since my social anxiety wouldn't let me go to the store in person, I ended up not getting laid. Well, that is something that could have been prevented with Dashlane. On top of all that, Dashlane also has a VPN which stops your ISP from tracking your web activity and allows you to watch shows and movies that are unavailable in your country on websites like Netflix. If you find this as helpful as I do, you can try Dashlane for free on your first device at dashlane.com slash internetaj and if you decide to upgrade to premium, you can use my code internetaj for 50% off. I will not make a Patreon, but if you do want to support the channel, it would mean a lot if you could pick up a Dashlane subscription using my link and code. That way you get something valuable and tangible in exchange for your money. I use and love Dashlane and I am sure you will too. Now back to the video. Nikocado Avocado's real name is Nicholas Perry and he was born in Ukraine. Later, he was adopted and moved to the United States. Nick was a freelance violinist for many years and created his YouTube channel in 2014. His early videos focused on him living his life as a vegan. I ate five avocados for dinner tonight. The vitamins and minerals will feed my hair, my skin, my brain, and my blood. You are what you eat. So whenever possible, eat from the earth and you will feel alive. Yes, one of the biggest mukbangers on the platform was a vegan. You just can't make this shit up. However, one day he quit veganism, citing worsening mental health and frustration with the community. He then switched over to mukbang videos, and no you gutter-minded person, I said mukbang, not gangbang. If you want to watch gangbang videos, then I suggest you ask your mother. Just kidding. If you don't know, mukbang is a genre where people eat excessively large amounts of food on camera. Nikocado excelled at this type of content as viewers were addicted to his flamboyant and cheerful personality. He also spiced things up, no pun intended, by sometimes featuring his pet parrot and his husband Orlin. Viewers found it impossible to look away as a skinny, healthy individual devoured pounds and pounds of food before their very eyes. While I personally don't see the appeal in watching mukbang videos, a scientific study found that they often help people satisfy food cravings, experience the feeling of binge eating themselves, and have vicarious satiations via visual and audio stimulation. Regardless of whether these were the reasons people watched, Nikocado's channel exploded and he amassed several hundred thousand subscribers by the end of 2016. However, over time, Nick's health started to visibly deteriorate due to the sheer amount of calories that he consumed. On February 12, 2017, he released a video called My Compulsive Eating to address accusations of bulimia. In it, he stated he received a lot of comments about his big cheeks, but defended himself by claiming he had always had big cheeks since he was a baby. Friends reaching out to me, people I haven't even talked to for like a year or two, sending me messages on Facebook or even emails. Nick, I heard that you have an eating disorder. And I just want to let you know I'm here for you if, if you need help with it or talking about it. Nick, I heard that you're, you're throwing up your food. You have bulimia. And, you know, why didn't you tell me? I thought I was your best friend. So people are saying that I have bulimia, that I'm purging up my food, that I have an eating disorder whether it's that I eat the type of food I eat, 
whether it's the amount of food I eat, whether it's the change in my diet recently, I don't know. But the number one thing, the reason that people are coming to this conclusion, is that I have big cheeks, and therefore, I have bulimia. And, uh, you know, it's like the phase that everyone goes through, because I hadn't hit full-on puberty yet. Once you hit full-on puberty, then all of a sudden the baby fat, they call it the baby fat goes away, whatever. I mean, I wasn't abnormal, but listen, I had big cheeks there too. Are you gonna say, oh, he looks like he has bulimia. Look at those big cheeks. It's just ridiculous. And it's degrading to people who actually suffer from this disease. That's the point I really want to get at. However, he conveniently ignored the topic of his shocking weight gain. In 2019, his reputation took a hit so powerful that he would never recover. That's because in December of that year, fellow mukbanger Stephanie Su released a 47 minute video called Why I Am Scared of Nikocado Avocado. As of today, it has over 13 million views. In it, she accused them of abusive behavior. Stephanie stated everything started when they were supposed to film a series of collabs together and Nick asked her to talk about Veronica Wing, the owner of a channel called Shookbong that made fun of mukbang channels. Stephanie then said she told Nick that she was willing to talk about the Shookbong channel, but not Veronica. Unfortunately, this greatly upset Nick Okado. And we were in the car and the topic of what we were gonna talk about in the talking mukbang came up. And this is <laughs> kind of when I first felt really uncomfortable because Nick, said it very assertively, we're gonna talk about Veronica and we're gonna spill all the tea. And I was kind of confused because I was like, oh, whoa, what? <laughs> and so I was immediately like, no, no. And then he, he went, but why'd you tell me yesterday that you wanted to then? And so I, I thought back to what happened yesterday and prior to filming my mukbang for my channel, he had mentioned, you know, I think that we need to talk about shikbang because you know everyone's gonna be talking about it in the comments. And I don't know why I believed it, I said, Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's weirder if we just act like it never happened. And so I felt like I was comfortable mentioning Shukbang, addressing it to the capacity of me and Nick. Yes, this is how we met, through a Shukbang video, but we have no ill will towards each other. It's all over, we're friends now, you know. I felt like I would never tell him that I wanted to talk about Veronica and specifically spill the tea. It, it had always been about Shukbang. Me and Veronica's relationship didn't involve Nick. And so I was just confused and it got really awkward after I said, oh no, like I don't mind addressing Shukbang, but that's it. And he just got silent and I couldn't have it feel like he was really upset by that. During their first collab video, tensions increased further when Nick brought up the topic again. Oddly, he then acted surprised when Stephanie told him a second time that she didn't want to talk about Veronica. Due to the situation, Stephanie said that she felt very uncomfortable. And then Nick brought up the conversation of Shukbang, but he brought it up in a way and I know that the full footage is not out there. He did it in a way, I don't remember his exact wording, but it was in a- What did you want to share? Or do you change your mind now? Um, <coughs> I just, <coughs> I just feel like- maybe, You said you wanted to talk yeah, to your viewers so, with me here, but cause you never talked to any of your viewers. And, they and I just remember feeling just shocked because the way he went about it was just so, almost like an interrogation, but I was like, you know what? It's fine, it's fine, I'm gonna, you know, joke it off, I'm gonna say my piece. I said, you know, I don't have any hard feelings because you made those videos and I get why you made those videos. I had these baby wipes in front of me and I kept wiping him every time he got too serious to just kind of play it off like, let me wipe him. And every single time I tried to do that, increasingly, it seemed like he got more offended. He would look at me with such a shocked face. <gasps> like, I can't believe but you said you wanted to talk about it and now you don't? Almost like, how dare you? Unfortunately, Stephanie said she still had to film another collab with him and during it, he asked her if there was anything she wanted to say. This in turn made her feel afraid of angering him. And I was like, oh, he knows something's wrong. And so then because of that, I started getting more and more cautious and I was like trying to make jokes and I was trying to be, you know, there was like this hot Cheeto thing we were cooking and I was like, it looks like a heart. Oh. <sighs> And I just felt like if I didn't make him feel like everything was okay, he would just get more and more angry with me. And so we filmed the third video at the end of the ASMR, because it was a whispering one. Nick turned to me and he said, is there anything else you'd like to say? And I just remember feeling so gutted. Like my heart had dropped to the ground because I thought it was going to be another interrogation. And so I, I said, 
thanks for watching us eat this food. <laughs> At this point, you know, Nick is talking about what are we gonna eat tomorrow and I'm just at this point, I'm really just trying to go home without angering him. Stephanie then revealed she had multiple anxiety attacks due to the pressure and even showed footage of them. Due to her rough night, she then said she had to cancel her plans for an additional collab with Nick, which really pissed them off. This was their text conversation. Hey guys, sorry I've been in and out of sleep all afternoon after staying up late after getting back. I don't think I'll be able to film any collabs today. I'm feeling really sick and I realized I had a few sponsors due before a year end that are really time sensitive. I'm so sorry, I hope you guys understand, but I'm really happy that we knocked some out yesterday. And I put my phone down, I put it on silent, and these are the next messages I got. You just now realized? Stephanie, I have been sitting here for five hours. When you were going in and out of sleep, you should have picked up the phone and given me a call, not leave me hanging. You didn't like it when Veronica did that to you. So no, I'm sorry, I do not understand. After this exchange, Nick later hinted on Instagram that he was going to make an exposed video. And the first is his Instagram post that's still up right now as of filming this, and I'm gonna put it right here, and it says, I'm this effing close to making an exposing video. Should I? What the F is wrong with people? So rude, so self-serving, and inconsiderate. And then he posted a story with a black screen. Making some tea, you guys. You won't believe the audacity people have, but I have lots of receipts and audio clips. Every time he texted me or called me, I feel like... Naturally, Stephanie felt she had no other choice but to release her side of the story first. Her video overall was well received and hit the internet like a tsunami. Viewers and many other mukbang YouTubers sided with Stephanie and turned on Nick. As a result, many of his videos received large amounts of dislikes and hate comments. Feeling compelled to respond, he then uploaded a 1 hour and 36 minute video called Re Stephanie Sue. In it, he attempted to defend himself but instead claimed that everything Stephanie said was a lie. He also rambled repeatedly and got excessively dramatic multiple times. Ultimately, his video came off as extremely fake and only made things worse. And as of today, the video has over 270,000 dislikes. Not willing to let her reputation be tarnished, Stephanie uploaded another video called How Nikocado Avocado Manipulated All of Us which received over 6 million views. In it, she refuted many of Nick's statements and provided evidence. Hi, we're back here. I've got my computer on this side, my fiance on this side, and a bunch of waters here. And we're just gonna jump into it because today's video, I never thought that I would ever, ever be making this video because when I said that I wanted to move on, I really truly did want to move on. I wanted to work on healing myself, trying to turn something bad into something somewhat positive, and just try to be happy again. But it just seems like Nick cannot help himself but continue to lie to me, manipulate his friends, manipulate the truth, manipulate my words, and manipulate you guys. He thinks that he showed a lot of receipts that really have nothing to do with this situation and I actually have a lot of proof, evidence, receipts, whatever you call it, and a lot of this stuff I had prior to making my first video. That honestly, if Nick had these receipts, he would have pulled them out when he made that first video, but I chose not to because this was not supposed to be drama. This was supposed to be me voicing my concern for my safety, my home privacy, and how I felt about another creator abusing their platform. But Nick, if you want to bring out all of the petty receipts and try to assassinate my character, then here you go. After the video, the community yet again sided with Stephanie. Unfortunately for Avocado, things only got worse from there. In January 2020, he uploaded a video called We Broke Up. In it, he explained that he and his Colombian husband, Orlin, were considering a divorce because the backlash from the recent drama was so intense. Ray or shine, no excuses, I'm here and I show up. Whether I'm in a happy mood or I'm in a sad mood. And that's just not enough. That's just not enough. <laughs> God. It's just not enough. And it's come to a point where the man of my life 
<laughs> the man of my life is questioning whether he wants to stay with me. And we have been married for years. We have been together for years. And he walked into my life and he showed me the world. However, I do want to point out that Nick and Orlin's relationship was extremely toxic as the two often fought on camera. You forgot to clean this, honey. You forgot to clean this. No, you forgot to clean it. <laughs> no, no, you did Orlin. What? What do you want? Get out of here. I'm filming. Leave. You called me Ouch. You told me to come here to bring in your dirty pants. Look at how dirty they are. You don't even clean them. Ouch. Stop! My chair just cracked. You just cracked my chair. Yeah, from your own morbid obesity. You pick all this up. I cracked my chair. My chair. <gasps> you also you broke chair. my chair. What is I wrong? I didn't break your chair. Ah. I did not break your chair. Get up. I did not break your chair. No, get away from me. Get the f out of here. Nick then followed up his previous video with a now deleted video called Orlin Left Me in which he revealed his husband broke up with him and that his life was in shambles. Oh, and he did all of this while eating enough Taco Bell to feed the entire country of India. Yes, Indians love Taco Bell, it's a thing, google it if you don't believe me. After the painful separation, Avocado uploaded multiple mukbang videos while crying profusely which seriously concerned his audience. Some thought he was faking his behavior for views while others were worried he was having a legitimate mental breakdown. Soon enough his videos spiraled out of control. For example, he claimed that David Dobrik stole his future and took his DNA. And here I am, eating my face to death. And I also have egg rolls in here. Egg roll, egg roll, egg roll. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was gonna say if that leg popped off, I would make David buy another one. This is his fault. It's no one's fault but your own. Yeah, I'm just so narcissistic. I wasn't born narcissistic. I became narcissistic because he took my path. He stole my identity. He stole my chromosomes. He stole my DNA. And I don't know how to sleep now. I can't fall asleep. At all. At all. However, the coup de grace was when he forgot Kobe Bryant's name, which really pissed off viewers. <clears throat> Like David Dobrik, I want crowds of people saying my name because of how good I was. Like someone just, um, what was his name? A couple days ago, the basketball player who died in the helicopter crash, Kevin Bryant, Bryant, Kevo, Keno, Ke uh, Kurt. No, shh, they're all gonna come for me. It starts with a K, but it should be a C, but people say K. Kevo, Keto. Oh no, what's his name? Bryant was his last name? Oh, shoot. Curtis. Oh, no. Chris? No. He looks like four, four letters. K, bim, beep. Calvin? Oh, what was his name? It starts with a K. And even though it sounds like it should be a C. Kenneth? I don't know. I don't think it's that long. I remember being very short. Like four letters. I think there's an O in there. Kirk, Kurt, a cat, Kathy. Oh, everyone's really upset. Everyone's shouting at the screen. I don't know sports. I don't know basketball. I don't. I've never heard of them before. Don't come for me. I don't know sports or anything. All I know is that, like, oh gosh, what's his name? What's his name? It was a very bad look for Nick, and many people were upset at him after his remarks. One person even commented, I never leave bad comments, but you seriously need to get off here. You're digging the hole deeper and deeper, you need to find something better to do with your life. Disrespecting Kobe and his daughter like that really crossed the line. In April 2020, Avocado uploaded another video called Jesus is Coming Soon, He Spoke to Me. In it, he rambled extensively. You know, do you know, do you know what it's like to be alive for 27 years? I don't even know what that means. What does it mean? What does it mean to be alive for 27 years? What does it mean? I'm just here, I'm just here, and I'm just stuck in this mess. <laughs> I'm stuck. Stuck in 
He also made erratic movements and said incomprehensible things. Nick then revealed that he saw Jesus who told him the secrets of the world. It was clear that his mental health was absolutely demolished. His weight had also ballooned and he looked nothing like his former self. Nick became the laughingstock of the internet and there's even an 8 minute compilation of him shitting himself which June the King showed me. Things got weirder when he got back with Orlin who later openly admitted to cheating on him. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this on camera. Can I do this on camera? I'm gonna do this on camera. Do what? You know what? I know what? What do I know? Who's this? What? Five. Who's that? I don't know. I don't speak numbers. Who's that? Uh, What's that photo for? Um, it's to show him what I have so we can meet up and cheat. Because I want to cheat on you. And I think he was cheating on his boyfriend. Oh, hey! <laughs> what? Use English, Orlin. You just said we were going to cheat. I want to cheat, and then you were cheating. Did you already sleep with him? Yes, I already slept with him. Of course I slept with him. But you know this. I cheat on you all the time. No, you don't. How can I be faithful to this thing? You're rude. No, you're ruder. Look at what you did to the wall. Stop! Walls. Get over the walls. The walls don't have feelings. I have feelings. You don't have anything. Respect you're empty on the end. You have nothing feelings. in your chest. Respect you don't have a heart, my you have cholesterol feelings. and fat in your heart. Respect There's no my heart. feelings. Respect you have a my big, feelings. These are my feelings. You have a candle. My feelings. In November 2020, he released a video saying he was going to quit YouTube and work on losing weight. I figured I'd come on here to let y'all know that yesterday's video was my last mukbang. It wasn't a troll. It wasn't a joke. Um, that's why everyone's freaking out because I didn't post a day. My first time in three years not posting, like missing a day, but because I've meant it. If I don't take control of my health, I'm going to die. 320 pounds is nothing to be laughing about anymore. And um, I need to work on my relationship off camera. So anyways, yesterday's video was the last one and I meant it. However, he didn't follow through and quickly started making more mukbang videos featuring his husband Orlin. He also created an OnlyFans with his husband which shocked the community further. Currently, Nikocado Avocado gets hundreds of thousands to millions of views per video and is doing well in terms of pure statistics. However, he is showing no signs of stopping anytime soon and his weight is reaching an alarming level. He even used the motorized scooter to move around in a recent video. On top of all that, his husband continuously insults him. It doesn't fit your hunchback. Skinny privilege. Making things that don't fit people like me. Again, this should be able to fit. I struggle just to put it on. I feel discriminated. I'm calling my attorney. But you actually lose some weight. Honestly, their relationship seems unhealthy. I am genuinely worried for Nick's safety as well as his mental and physical health. I understand that the income and attention he receives is a major motivator for him to continue his content. Sadly though, it's incredibly unsustainable. Other mukbangers like Honey Bee and Zach Choi have healthy weights because they diet and exercise to compensate for their eating during videos. Nick, on the other hand, has either not been doing that at all or not enough. I think he can continue the mukbang content in the future but needs to follow these practices. Also, I think he should see a therapist, a doctor, and go to couples counseling. I wish Nick the best, but only time will tell if he's willing to put in the effort to turn things around. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider giving me a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot. Peace!